When did the best pound for pound discussion start about fighters less than 150 pounds? Where have all the great heavyweights gone? Hey everybody, I'm Max Rich for Intersect TV, and this is True Fan Boxing. Why is it that you can't talk about boxing these days without bringing up Mayweather or Pacquiao? Sure, those guys are some of the best fighters of all time, but they're only welterweights. Back in the day, it was all about the heavyweights. Ali, Frazier, Foreman, Tyson. What happened to the heavyweight division? Well, True Fan's own Jay Monty wants to know just that. So he asked some guys who would know. I wanted to ask you about the heavyweights today. The difference when you fought, now it's maybe 20 years ago. What's the difference now in the heavyweight division? Well, dedication. It's nothing but dedication. A lot of, a lot of the guys these days do not want to pay the price and be loyal to the sport. Um, right now, I just feel like the heavyweight division is uh, at an at a all-time low, um, especially in America. And I think it's partly because a lot of the, the new trainers do not understand what the old trainers are really focusing on. You know, it's not about how big a guy is. I mean, a lot of people, they focus on the money. So when you talk about a big guy, you're looking for his size, not for his skill, not for his heart not for his determination. I think that makes a big difference in the game. Iran Barkley, I know you've finished your career as a heavyweight. What do you think of heavyweights today? There's no heavyweights today. I don't even think about heavyweights, you know what I'm saying? The heavyweight division to me is just ridiculous. And uh, so I'm not seeing that much. I mean, it's, it's the sport's kind of dying boxing. I mean, MMA's kind of killing us. Heavyweights today. Uh, what do you think? And what you know? Can you compare the two eras? I know you'd probably be a champ today. Easy, easy. No, I can't compare. I was ranked in the top ten for over four years straight. It was me, Ali Fraser, Foreman, Liston, Norton, Bonavina. That was a great era then. The guys today, the heavyweight division, isn't exciting as the lower guys, the little guys. But there's still a couple. It's the Klitschko brothers. Even though they're awkward, they got their European style. They're big, tough guys. I think they probably could have been contended even in our era. How can boxing improve? Well, I think history always repeats itself. Should I say boxing is going to reinvent itself again? I mean, you know, that was a time when the heavyweight uh, division was strong, and as you know, the light heavyweight division was weak, and then the middleweight division was weak. So, you know, it's just boxing, it's, it's, it always repeats itself just like history. So I think it's going to be a matter of time, but how long, I don't know. Now here's something that you may not know. Not everyone in the World Boxing Hall of Fame was a fighter. Broadcasters have a place in the hall as well. And this year, that honor was bestowed upon Showtime analyst Al Bernstein. Jay Monty caught up with Al to talk with him about his induction into the World Boxing Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Jay Monty with True Fan Boxing. I'm here, privileged to be with Al Bernstein. Al, how does it feel to be in the Hall of Fame now? Well, it was a very exciting evening. You know, that was really um, uh, a great night. Uh, to be inducted with a lot of great fighters, of course, and some other folks as well. Uh, and it was just a terrific feeling. How did you get started in, uh, just from the beginning? Uh, I got on the ESPN shows back in 1980 and uh, did some, I'd written a book on boxing and written about boxing, and I kind of got on there uh, just uh, to help them with the show and got on one show. They liked what I did, and the rest built from there. Fight throughout these entire three rounds. Well, this may have been the quintessential Golden Gloves battle. Bernstein has done quite a bit. <laughs> Let's face it, uh, good, bad, indifferent. He's done some great things in boxing. He's an honest man. He's a, he, he, he does it by heart, you know. And he, and he did it, and it's not about Al. It's about the boxers, you know. And it comes across real, real well. And I was very really happy when the when when the the voters and I mean the uh, selection committee uh, selected him to be in the. Uh, uh, Hall of Fame. Now that you have a Hall of Fame career, uh, what are you doing in the future? Well, we're just going to continue on at Showtime with all the great fights that they do. Uh, and I uh, enjoy, really enjoy doing all the Showtime fights. And that'll be the focus. And that, of course, and uh, my own boxing channel at IBNSports.com, which I've put a lot of effort into. Those are the two things that I'll really uh, kick in. Well, thank you, uh, Al. Uh, this is Jim with Al Bernstein. Talk to you later. I wonder when Jay Monty's going to get the Hall of Fame nod. Maybe he'll be considered for next year's induction. Well, you know who I think should be there next year, but who do you guys think should be next in line? Send us your picks. Log in, comment right here on Intersect TV, and we'll post them on the next True Fan Boxing. Until then, for future Hall of Famer Jay Monty, I'm Max Rich.
See you next time.